Discipline. Now, what about the arrows? What about the arrows are well hidden. Search place many times. Did a lightning thing, but nothing really happened. Oh, my body's back. What the lightning thing was. We've by by. So oh, is there a door I couldn't get through? Yes. Still don't have the key. Got be something to do with this. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. hello. Hiding in plain sight. Upstairs, come on. Whoosh. Bit easier to see when the fucking yellow. Serpent arrows. Oh, there's Petrodon. Get him. I said they were well hidden. Not really. They're just in a room in a box. In a chest that's supposedly invisible. I don't know what that did. <laughs> don't get rid of that field, does it? What is it? No. Ah, you go in and out. It must be that way around because that appeared. I've definitely got war of discipline on there. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Back to Monk Isle. Boop boop.
What do I do? Just throw it at her. Before I do, I'll be saving it. Where are you? Nut job. You win over. She's still bonkers. Let's sit my hunger. Get the right water. Discipline. I would have words with thee. What a relief to see thee against Legnor. I fear that work hath only begun. Batlin's deeds have only worsened the storms. As the sand dwindles within the hourglass of fate, the danger will only increase. Thou must find the answer quickly, Alatar. Answer. According to the Zenka's visions, the hero from another world will succeed through use of a powerful magic. The aid of spectres and the implements of the Hierophant. For the sands run down, we must find the meaning of these accursed riddles. I know not what a farm wife would consider great magic. For all I know, it could be as simple as lightning, lighting a candle, or perhaps she's referring to the power to trap souls. So much more simple if Zenka would return and explain these infernal riddles herself. She's worse than chuckles. For all I know, Zenka is talking about herself. All these monks are convinced that she will return to help them finish their quest while I wade through all these insane ramblings. I need to just talk to a spectre and see if I can wring any sense out of her rather than these writings. From what Karnax have told me, a hierophant was some sort of priest or holy man for these Ophidians. What tools would a holy man use? Something for blessing people, perhaps, and or not? I must search further for more clues. Danger. It's already experienced the power of the storms of imbalance. As time passes, these will increase frequency and strength. After a further period of time, earthquakes will begin to tear the land apart until the last it destroys itself. I do not know these forsaken prophecies are poorly written. That I can't make any headway in finding for reference to the other. I do not know who's responsible, the monks or Zenka herself, but I sometimes feel as if I could strike someone. The prophecies of Zenka speak of the storms of imbalance. Storms unlike any living man has seen. Storms whose results no man can predict. I'm sorry, the prophecies are cryptic at best. Monks have recorded all Zenka's visions. They keep this term of wisdom within their chapel at the altar. It's very confusing to read. Language is vague, hard to understand. Much of it sounds like bad poetry. In fact, the Yolo's songs were as bad. I'd break his, if the Yolo's songs were as bad, I'd break his loot rather than allow him to inflict them on others. Batlin's deeds. Until Batlin interfered, this land had no balance, but complete chaos was held in check until he loosed the bands. Unless balance is restored, this land shall die and take every world that touches it into the dust of oblivion as well. Britannia, even thine home avatar, is in deadly peril. No world exists without influencing another, so all may be destroyed if New Cesaria dies. According to the Mages of Moonshade, New Cesaria is the name of this land slug, although it's often called the Serpent Isle. The forefathers of this uh, were descent of the people here were descendants of Lord British's rule. It does seem difficult to believe that they could be talking about the Lord British we know, but perhaps time runs differently here and in Britannia. Came upon the ruins of a civilization in many places during my travels. They all bought the mark of some serpent design or another. Noted there appeared to be a different serpent motif in different areas. One serpent always seems to crawl towards the left, another serpent always crawls towards the right, and the remaining serpent always crawls straight. I have no idea if it means anything, but there's a difference between the different ruins. Certainly. The Banes. The Banes are the splintered force of chaos. I'll have to cage them again as they were before Batman came. This is only a temporary solution at best. Perhaps I can consult the materials out among Kyle and discover a way to rid this land of the threat entirely. If go to Moonshade, you can learn who gave Batlin the secret to trapping souls. I'll try and learn what can make them able to withstand the forces that we can contain. Monks have said that they have extensive library here, perhaps with all I've learned from my travels throughout the land, we can use their books and scrolls to find the answer. I don't believe that caging souls was possible within Britannia, therefore the spell must have come from this land. Where else but Moonshade will find a spell in this land that they're closed mouthed lot. I wish the look they're all dead. <laughs> well I spent quite a bit of time within Moonshade, I heard nothing about such a spell. Since the mages are all basically vain, that must mean that the spell is a secret, or at least not common knowledge. Join! I'll be more used to the if I remain here, since I can't find information that I must need. Okay. 
So, Moonshed, back to the gate. Bit of out cheer whistler for you there. Kids. Mages. Mages. This dude. It's good to see that the Anarch has not slain thee. I may have evaded. Show me the night. First thing, must have told you. Blah, 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 blah. Who's still alive? It's a mage. Mm, I'll take her, but I think he's still stuck in the snow. Oh, the salt. Bloody automaton guy, isn't there, who thinks he's now king. Lunchtime. Soul trapping. So I seek to learn the ancient art of imprisoning souls within gems. I give this to thee for a price, but I warn thee, the outcome may not be what I suspect. Pay the price, the philanderer's friend, and I shall reward thee. For now, I should merely say that the spell was used by ancient inhabitants of this land, remove their souls from their bodies, and place them within inanimate objects. Not the first to seek the secret from me, I don't sure. That fat fool battling purchased it from me too. And I gave him this warning. The gems are not powerful enough to contain any soul of great power. Should they fail, the soul release should be very angry. Well, that's what happened then. The price. There was something which I want very much, haven't I? I detect that I was coming into contact with the magical life out which was in, taken from me. The philanderer's friend. One of the mysterious power is still another one to me. I shall have to deny it. Oh, good God. The device stolen from me many years ago. It's called the Philander's Friend. I'm not sure why. Someday I shall understand its secrets. Good. I was brought it with thee, and now I shall take it. I have it. Uh, let's see. Fucking. Then again, I did restore the one to me, and the Philander's Friend is a great price. Thou hast paid the price. I shall grant thee the desire thou hast had but to ask. No, it should be thine, Avatar. The secret is that souls can be imprisoned within gems. Only worm gems will do. Even these must first be enchanted with the spell which I gave thee now. On this scroll, I shall find the spell for creating soul prisms. Transcribe this to thy spellbook at the first opportunity. I will not give thee another. Such gems are made, not found in nature. Seek out Ducio the artist. Artisan, if he still yet lives, and fashions the gems for me when I have need of them. Buy. Don't steal anything. Like all my stuff. Ha! Ah, create soul prison. Nice. Okay, so I think. Oh, for God's sake. Just... Yes, you. Are alive, there's five whole cars, so many dead. What's our business? Worm gem. Strange request. Yes, I can make the worm gem if there's desires. It's a simple matter when there's another secret. We'll fucking do it then. Ah, oh, take that gem. Uh, worm 
gem. Strange request. I can make the worm gem. Then bring me three worm hearts, no less. The Twister told me the secret of making these gems, said he learned it from ancient scrolls written some strange unit lettering. For years he's been my only customer for such gems. And the stranger named Batlin asked me to craft some for him and now that I'll just request them. The hearts of ice worms, of course. Kill an ice worm, strip its heart and kill another. The ice worms are found in the cold northern lands, I'm told. I've been there myself, heard stories very cold. If I had more than three worm hearts, uh, nine worm hearts. So, worm gem. So I have to turn those into soul prisms. Then just fucking vanish. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. If I had more worm heart, I should have had nine. <sighs> so I need more worm heart. Which did she know of something here? Because it's blue. Ooh. 12. Awesome. Give. Thank you. Don't have to go back to the fucking North Pole. Worm gem. Get that gem. Get here. There's three veins, so I need three. Come on. Oh, stand still, you pain in the bum. Right. Okay, so I have three gems. Now what? See Gwenna, see if she's found any answers. See if it, making the prisms has triggered anything. You're doing much study. I'm not sure I must totally follow the retirement of that time. That's fair. Avatar found a most intriguing scroll that tells some sort of mystic connection between the Banes and the ancient temples. Before thou canst redeem thy faithful companions, thou must take the soul cages and bathe them in the water of the temple that is connected to that bane. Once thou each temple, according to the scroll, there's a device of some sort through which thou canst divine the location of each bane. Soul cages are prisms that thou have cannot withstand the powers of beings such as the banes. When a prism purified by the water, the appropriate temple can hold each bane, otherwise the prism will be ineffective. Can actually tell me that Migim does have maps to the temples. Apparently, each temple is dedicated to one of the six virtues of the Phidians. Seek out the correct temple before they can defeat the Banes. Once again, after I have nothing further I can tell, they have been unable to tell the more references to the devices in the temples. I can find tallies of grain given to the temples, and this is still work hired by each temple caretaker, but I can't find nothing else to help thee, but I'll keep searching. Well, Phidians is where the Kornak. Can actually use the people that once dwelled in the serpent ruins of the land. I don't know if this is their name for themselves, if it's a name that concocted for them. Megan is very quiet and helpful. It has been most helpful reading books and scrolls. I might also include another. I'm thankful in my Jesus library. Without him, I'd never find anything. Can is quite pompous. He's more inclined to lecture me than to help. I'll gladly suffer his speech if they can help find the way to stop my husband. His knowledge of the history of the Lions has been invaluable. Okay. So, where's the book? <sighs> Crap. I left the scrolls, I can't fucking remember now. That's the one. So. 
tolerance, enthusiasm, emotion, ethicality, discipline, and logic. Anarchy, wantonness, insanity, prejudice, apathy, and ruthlessness. So it's got to be insanity must be logic. Wantonness is discipline. Anarchy is ethicality. I think. Or is it emotion? It doesn't say which one opposes which, does it? Well, let's look at it this way. I, s I might have some of the water I need already. So, let's save it. Let's see what happens. It can only go wrong, can't it? Not waste that. Aha! Uh -huh. Prism of enthusiasm. Well, I'm hoping that's right because if I end up with one that don't fucking work, Enthusiasm. So we don't need to go to enthusiasm. And, uh, which is, we should do have a serpent tooth for. Uh -huh. Tolerance. So. Oh, hang on, is this not? Yeah, Montegro. Right, hang on. Boyden. Leave. No. Bye. Dance. Bye. Yes, do not believe container that I guidance for all that I am a debt. Thank thee. Right, come on then. Where's he gone? Come on, because I need to get Boyd in. Oh, hang on. Where's he fucking gone? Did he just get hit by lightning? I think he just got blown up. No, oh, it's fucking poison gone now. I oh, don't lose him, he's got me gear. Get here. Join. Bye. <laughs> so he's, he just got blown up. He got it. Saved him and he dies. What's the key? Where'd you get the fucking water from then? I can't see anywhere that's got a fountain. it can't be this shit can it no okay I have just looked this one up because I'm confused as fuck because there's no fountain Apparently, how the hell are you supposed to figure this out? You have to go back to Moonshade, go into the cellar where the uh, 
pedestal is. In here. That was swapped with Montegro. Get a bucket. Put it on there. Water of tolerance. How? How would you figure that out? Prism of tolerance, prism of enthusiasm. And then the last one is emotion. How the hell do you get to emotion? <laughs> 